closed by the Food Standards Agency because it has failing standards. The red line abattoir in Nantwich had come under scrutiny following the horse meat scandal earlier this year. Uh, Sky's Jason Farrell uh, is here. And tell us more about this, Jason. Well, we investigated uh, this uh, abattoir last year, back end of last year, along with uh, an animal rights welfare group uh, called Hillside Animal Sanctuary. Um, we set up cameras inside the building and discovered that the welfare standards were not up to scratch. Um, they had been uh, slaughtering horses uh, in groups. Uh, they had uh, been beating uh, horses around the back with iron bars. You can see there some of the uh, horses that are waiting to be slaughtered uh, are looking in fairly sorry condition. Uh, and indeed, the condition of some of the animals also were in such a, a way that they should have been put down. Um, there was an investigation into the welfare following that, and that investigation uh, is ongoing. Um, but the reason that it has been shut down, it's been shut down just now, actually, it was shut down at 12 noon, uh, is because it didn't meet the infrastructure requirements. Now, this could be a number of things. The FSA won't say exactly what they are because they say it's subject to appeal, uh, but it could be, for example, corrosion of equipment, it could be holes in the roof, it could be the wrong kind of flooring. Basically, it could be anything that meant that they were not complying uh, with all the requirements to ensure that the meat is safe. Uh, so there could be hygiene issues, and there could also be uh, welfare issues as well. And there was another investigation in this uh, abattoir as well around horse meat, around horse passports, and whether all the horses that were going there had the correct paperwork. Um, and in light of the horse meat scandal, I mean, I know you're saying that this abattoir didn't, wasn't necessarily linked uh, to horse meat getting into the uh, food chain in, in this country, but are abattoirs in this country now under increasing scrutiny by the FSA as a result of that scandal? They have been. Indeed, one was temporarily uh, closed down in West Yorkshire. And I think the FSA you know, are giving a great deal of scrutiny to this industry at the moment, not just the abattoirs, the processing uh, companies, the cutting companies, uh, are all being inspected and being um, obviously as well. We know about the tests that the FSA have been doing on meat products in supermarkets. So it's a busy time for them uh, at the moment. And uh, obviously any lack of compliance uh, is being treated uh, very harshly. I mean, not harshly. I mean, these kind of things obviously are extremely important. And they will have to uh, prove to this company uh, that they were not uh, out of, uh, in breach of compliance if they want to get their license back. Okay, Jason, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much, Jason Powell.